Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is my um, March installment in the stickier side of Craft and Collab. And it is one that is hosted by Deb Hauk's Crafty Cottage here on YouTube. Um, everyone's links will be in the description below who everyone that's participating so you can go and um, check them out and show them some YouTube love um, this these are the projects that I made with the stickers that I wanted to use up um, I think I used up a package of K and Company dimensional rose stickers um, this right here was a sheet of some little tiny um, like card greetings. Uh, they came with like the free address labels that you get in the mail a lot. I've had these for probably 20 years and I've just kept having them in my stash and just never used them so I just determined to get them off of my craft table. Um, these were some layered mini flowers by Jolie's. I used up the whole package. There were I think eight of them left. Eight out of nine were left. And so I was glad to get that used up because that's been on my desk for a long time as well. And I did use up the rest of a package <clears throat> of three by three cards. Well, the envelopes are three and a quarter inches, but when you, the cards actually measure about two and seven eighths. So they're not exactly three by three cards, um, but they're close enough. But I did use up that package, so that is another thing used up. So for the dimensional row stickers, I did show these, I think, I, I mean, I know I showed these two six by six cards, so I don't know if this one was made when I did my, um, smash that small paper pad video. Um, just took some of the paper from the pad that I'm using, working on finishing up right now, and just made a little four by five and a half card. Um, a doily that's in my stash I've been trying to use up. I just had gotten a whole bunch, well not a whole bunch, but a little baggie of them in a recent swap. <clears throat> this is a pack of butterflies that I think they're, think they're from Recollections. I'm not sure, but they have a couple of different prints on them. And then here is the Dimensional Rose. I think that is just gorgeous. I couldn't find any paper in that paper pad. I had yellows in it, but I thought it looked good with all the paper. And then I just put Best Day Ever on the front. <clears throat> Inside, I just layered with some more of the paper. So there is that card. And then just real fast show these again. I did make the envelopes with my envelope punch board. Um, the reason I did a 6x6 card was because I really loved the pattern. And I just thought what, the way it was sort of framing the page made a great place to put a little focal image for a card. And inside I just layered, um, these are some little stickers that came with the um, dimensional roses. There is another doily and I just put some of the little teeny tiny bling in the middle of the flowers and another butterfly. And it says you are loved. <clears throat> and then here is this one. And this is what it looks like. And on this one, these flowers here came with the bling already on them. And then on the inside, I just put a little flag. So there is, there are those two cards. And then <clears throat> for the 4x4 four four cards, um, I took, these are the little dimensional, like layered flowers. Um, just this inside circle, I took my scallop punch created another layer <clears throat> and then took some I have a little tiny um let me find this here I have this stack that's been on my beside my desk for a long time textured cardstock and I'm not sure I think they're like four by four maybe and so I just found some pretty collars that went with these um, little circular flower stickers and just layered them um, took some of the coordinating cardstock, made it a little mat, and then used my silver this time instead of gold, my silver corner uh, peel-offs, 
absolutely love using these peel-offs. I think they just add a touch of elegance to anything that you use them on. And the insides are blank. And then here's this one. That is a very sort of a peachy orange. That's why I went with sort of a peachy colored um, matte. I didn't have enough of the peach to make the little circle, my little starburst um, layer. So I just went with yellow. Um, but this from the hot pink up. No, the hot pink is actually the scallop that I punched out. From this yellow up is the actual sticker itself. And it, they do come with this little bling in the center. So all I had to do was add middle corners, and I thought that was a nice card. Um, I was going to try to put like a little sentiment on the front, but I thought, well, I really like the way the front's turned out, so I can just leave the inside to put a little note. Then here is this one. I did two, do two cards with the sort of a teal mat, and then two cards with the peachy orange mat. And then this one just used the hot pink um, starburst, and then the teal <clears throat> or bluish colored um, scallop punch. And then there is the layered sticker. And then the last one is this one. I love that layered sticker there with the little leaf sticking out. So those are the four little tiny note cards that I made. And I had four left over that were all different colors. Um, so I thought those would just be some fun little um, card candy to have in my stash. Or I can tuck them into um, some little swaps or something. And I did go ahead and put a piece of foam on the back. So it makes a nice little instant um, embellishment for something. And then these are the little sentiments that came like little card greetings that came with um that came on that sheet free with my address labels um the inside little square is the actual sticker itself and then i just layered it onto some so two different pieces of coordinating cardstock added a little bit of bling <clears throat> so there's that one that just says dream big and if it get to focus there why it's not wanting to show up good and then here's this one with the little daisies and on this one i did put some um, bling in the center of the flowers and then there's that one i love the look of that and then these also have foam on the back so they can be used on whatever you want to put them on and here is and all of these papers that i used for the mats are just um this one's a little bit fuzzy are just scraps that I took out of my scrap bag beside my desk. So I'm using up scraps as well as stickers that have been sitting around forever. And on that one I just took my tiny little bling and put in the center of each flower. And then there's this one. I thought that one turned out really really cute, really pretty. And these would be nice. You could put them on a card. Um, these would be just nice little um, things to tuck into like Happy Mail or back of a pocket letter. Um, this one here, I couldn't really find an exact color to match because my purples didn't seem like they were the right shade. And my blues didn't seem like they were the right shade. But I finally went with this one. <clears throat> and then I just took a purple tinted um, sort of a shimmery iridescent bling in the center of the large flower and then just put some of the little tiny ones around and then here's this one and these two are the last ones and i thought they turned out really really cute and those would be nice to have on hand just like i said you can tuck them into happy mail or make quick cards with them um, put them on other craft projects whatever you want to do so there is my, um, those are the projects for my stickers this time around. Um, thank you so much everyone for watching. I uh, hope you all are staying safe out there and finding everything that you need, not having any problems. And I will talk to everyone the next time. Thank you so much. Bye.